Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a cauliflower rice today and um, show you my cauliflower, it's really amazing. I see you, as you can see, I have a half a cauliflower here, and this is a small one, yeah, just for me, one portion. And there are some leaves, the tender leaves around the cauliflower, they are okay to put into the rice, into the food processor to make a rice. Um, I show you right away, begin. Um, here is my food processor, and it is fitted with the S-blade. That's my tool for making cauliflower rice, which is very versatile, it saves so much time. And I couldn't make the rice without it. I could uh, chop the cauliflower, mince it maybe with a chef's knife. It was okay, you can do that if you don't have one, but you won't get the rice texture. Get a similar texture, but not the rice texture, that is the difference. And it's so much fun you know, to have this rice texture. I mean, not so important, but it's just a fun, fun fact. And you know, the, the texture is important, uh, very important. In other kitchen, in the Japanese kitchen, for example, people have um, built years and years and years of education to learn cutting this because texture is so important to them. Our culture does not have that so much, but in general, it's important. So, but I have to move very quick because otherwise the rice turns into a um, mushy. <laughs> seconds only three four seconds one round of dancing <laughs> that makes the rice and I put it into a uh, bowl right away cauliflower is in raw cauliflower especially has a great advantage this tool is nice to get out um, because it makes me feel complete after it balancing, it's because of the nutrients. It's, it's light because it has a lot of water in there, in itself, the cauliflower, and it has um, the right nutrients to, for a balancing diet. That means that there's no food craving afterwards, after eating raw cauliflower. And I can eat cauliflower every day. Uh, it can be a staple. I mean, I have a great variety in my diet. I don't eat cauliflower every day, but I could. If you have a simple diet and eat always the same, I might go for cauliflower, raw cauliflower. As some people would already eat, always eat potatoes, for example, every day as a staple, and they could also eat cauliflower. That, that's how um, good it is as a food. You know, here that is my portion for the day. And before I now put the other ingredients in, I show you my dressing. Because the dressing might have to be blended twice, yeah, because I you make a peanut curry dressing. Yeah, so I have a handful of now small handful. Maybe it is a small handful. Yeah, small handful. Some peanuts here. They are raw and wild. You see the texture here. That's wild. That means they are really cool. They are a little bit more expensive. I like them better because uh, I'm sure with the wild organic peanuts they have. Uh, Small quantities, yeah, they harvest it in the jungle, I guess, and then uh, there is no mold in the peanuts. Sometimes peanuts are stored in huge um, halls, and then mold can build, and you cannot control it. Same with all the big uh, mass production, industri industrial um, agriculture, um, always has these problems. When you have large storerooms, then anything can go into these rooms and you cannot haul, it cannot be controlled. So for that person, for that reason, um, uh, especially with the, with the, with the um, peanuts, it's good uh, to have organic uh, to, to save the toxins. They are very, can be very toxins, moldy toxins here. And I want banana to make it creamy. Uh, blending peanuts all by themselves, um, you would have to blend very long to get them into a um, peanut butter. You can also take peanut butter, that's a bit easier. Peanut butter, some water, have a nice dressing too. Yeah, I take some water also. But before I put the water in, I have some spices here. I said it's a curry dressing, a curry cream. And so I have a curry powder here. There are so many varieties. This is one 
um, I got in the health food shop. Uh, I don't know what, what exactly is in it. Um, turmeric, of course, for the color and other things. Um, you can grow it up. Always different combinations. And a one grove of garlic here and a little bit of Himalayan salt. So three seasonings go in there together with the tomato, uh, with, the, with the banana and with the peanut um, and water. A cup of water, not too much, uh, just to make peanuts creamy. Let's go. Blender bags. <laughs> and so it's really nice in here because it's a savory dressing but I found um, in especially in uh, curry dressings the banana is a very nice can be a very nice ingredient and here with the peanuts together it makes it a little bit creamy and um, banana goes very nice with savory dishes too as I have salt in here and garlic Yes. So let it sit for a while, and as the peanuts have not, have not been soaked, so they might uh, soak a little bit here in the dressing, and I um, do it another time, blend another time, in a few moments. So as I show you the other ingredients, here is my cauliflower rice again, and there is a cup of um, corn. Yeah. goes onto the rice, that is a very nice combination. Also, corn is wonderful together with a curry dressing. Corn and curry, that's a perfect combination. And I have some onions here. The third part, the third part of the main ingredients. Uh, also very nice, both with cauliflower and also, also with um, corn. And also onions go very nice with the curry cream. So that's what I have today for the main ingredients. I will now go back to the dressing and blend one more time. perceive it. I can perceive it. And it tastes different too. And it's more creamy and more surface. Mm. Very nice. Show you now. <coughs> mm. Very delicious. I love peanut cream dressing. You see. Uh, maybe I don't need all the dressing. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I can take it all. No problem. It's a nice creamy one. And the cauliflower nicely when it's soaked in a creamy dressing. And on top, now of course, I will now combine it all and all evenly coated by the creamy dressing. Um, that's just a basic recipe. Yeah. I could also add more tomatoes or so, that would be possible, or other ingredients, you know, as you like. Just, just, um, just three ingredients plus dressing and the third one yeah, dressing main ingredients and topping that is your peanuts I have some peanuts on top that are also very nice with corn yeah, and with onions and with curry see that's my main now 
and very healthy. And it's another variety. I've never tried that before. I guess it's very yummy, very healthy, and balancing. Keeps me satisfied for a while uh, before I have to eat the next meal. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, thumbs up and maybe subscribe and even on YouTube. Then you have another recipe every single day. And you find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.